Hello, people. I'm Vito, and welcome back to the World of Light with Robert Link. Hello. So, where we last left off, we beat up the people on the train. Yes. Uh, Rover. And uh, in between episodes, Robert Link has done some upgrading, some leveling up of spirits and the the skill tree. A little bit. And if you wanted to show them the spirit yes. that is now enhanceable. And I think I will be enhancing it. It's Waddle So yeah, only certain spirits have this ability where when they reach like level 99, you can upgrade them. Then they go back to level one. You could do the whole process over, but they don't enhance again, usually. Hmm. Bandana Waddle Dee. So much power just from putting on a bandana. Yeah, the spear has nothing to do with it. It's obviously <laughs> the bandana. Also, Robert Link only has like three defense spirits. Yeah. And two of them have fire weakness. And the one that doesn't has no support slots yeah that was the point i made but then you were like oh i was gonna say he's ugly <laughs> yeah it's also ugly all right so did you want to go after that master spirit up ahead sure copper and booker hm. i remember them they're also in um the what? wii version i believe city folk city folk yes Shields often, better shields, increased defense when damaged. All right. All about the defense. That's my shtick. Is it though? You're playing Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong's whole shtick is slap and punch. Yes, well, if I had a full selection of the characters. Would you be playing Link? Probably. <laughs> I don't remember where Link is in, in the map. Oh, that was easy. He just ran right up to me. Yeah, he's like, punch? Here, let me have. He was expecting pets. <laughs> I gave it punch. Poor pupper. <laughs> and then is this like a training location or something? Yeah. Hmm. So I guess... Oh. I think specifically, if he puts spirits in this one, they'll get, like, a shift in their abilities. Huh. It'll, it'll probably increase their defensive ability, but decrease, like, their offense or speed or something like that. I imagine. Hmm. I can't watch it out, but I'll do it between episodes. Uh, green. Hmm. Do I have a green? I don't think I do. Darn it, we don't have Link. <laughs> Ah, freezy. Yeah, I think like the ice climbers have that as a built-in ability. They just side B, right? I believe so. Although I don't think it has a face when they do it. Or actually, was it just their neutral B? Because I think their side B may have been the hammer spin. I don't know. I don't play them often enough. <laughs> also, what is that aura around me? Uh... I don't know. But they're dead. So it doesn't matter. I wonder if that's one of the support spirits I have that I take less, or I have better defense when I'm at low damage percentage. Maybe. Hmm. But yeah, that was funny. Again, they just walked right up into my clap. Where does this go? Somewhere. Eh, we're not too far from where we were. I guess not. Just a little further east. Ah, Team Chaotix. Represented by Sonic, Pichu, and um, King K. Rule. <laughs> and one of them, at least I assume one of them, is invisible. Presumably Sonic, to represent Espio. Yeah, probably. I don't I don't know if I remember ever seeing Espio turn invisible in any of the games that I've played, but I guess he is supposed to be kind of stealthy ninja-like because he's like a chameleon or whatever. I just like remember that being one of the most unique, unique things about him in Sonic Heroes. Well, I haven't played that in forever. 
and uh, even though the Game Grumps are currently still playing it because they decided to go back to do some of the other um, teams, they haven't gotten to Chaotix yet because they're planning on doing that one last. Hmm. Okay, apparently it's just all of them going invisible every now and then. Hmm. It was funny, um, when the Game Grumps were playing it, they first did Team Sonic, they took a break from it, came back and did uh, Team Rose, which is like a lot easier, their levels are a lot shorter, simpler. Yeah. And then, but they didn't know that, so they're like, are we actually really good at this game? And, you know, we've gotten used to it, and it's actually not all that bad. And then they went to Team Shadow. And it's, <laughs> when it Where got, it's harder. Yeah, harder than even the Sonic one. And they're like, no, this is terrible. And I think at some point during their playthrough of the Team Dark, which they're still doing, I think, uh, they read either an email or a comment that was telling them, you know, no, Team Rose is just easy mode. Shadow is the hard mode. And then they're like, oh, that makes sense. Huh. And I think they mentioned that the Team Chaotix and Sonic Heroes had some sort of gimmick to it. But I don't I don't remember. Hmm. It's been too long since I actually played it. I just remember that you can do like this tornado making move as the speed character. But yeah. it also makes you go invisible if it's Team Chaotix. Oh, SBO. okay. Because I know... Sonic and Shadow just have a thing where they go in circles around the opponent to make a tornado, and then Amy, yeah. Amy makes a tornado with her hammer swing, is what I know. But, like I said, they haven't played Chaotix yet, so I don't remember hmm. S SBO's version. Rock Mario? I think this is from the second Galaxy game, which we haven't played. Ah. Hmm. Okay, so it's just Metal Jigglypuff doing the roll. Yeah. Because it's the neutral special. Ready? You fool. Go. You will roll into the clap. <laughs> Yeet. It's like a made of metal, I see. Trying to be clap resistant? Well, it won't work. Ow. Unless you're too fast. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Clap one. Ow. Strike. Mm. Well, ah, too early. That's strike two. Huh? Actually, it's probably been more than two by now, but whatever. And slap two. Not quite a home run yet. Slap three. With a stick. Sword. Right. You don't have to aim for that one. That's unfair. I was going to say that's kind of fortunate that Jigglypuff did it on the platform where you could, you know, stay below it. Do you mind? I was going to say the, uh... The Mario-headed planet in the background. I don't remember if that was in the first galaxy or not. I don't remember that existing. Oh, wow. I thought... I thought It uh, hit me first. Yeah. But apparently it was perfect timing. Good job. Huh. Either that or... That move has armor. I think that's the term. Something like that. WX-78 would know. Yep. Oh. I just realized using a C stick can move the camera. Yeah, that works. Spirit points. We. What Yay. was that for the shop or something? Yeah. Is that a frozen path? I need something to unlock. I think you slide down, so I think you need to be at the top of it to be able to use it. Ah. Because I just saw a character down there, so. Yeah, if you go th back through the pipe, you might be able to get up there. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go back. Let's go check it out back. I don't know. Yeah, because it looks like we're climbing the mountain this way. Hmm. 1080 degrees. I don't think I've played that game. Hmm. I'm assuming it has something to do with sports or like skateboarding. I think it's snowboarding. Eh, same thing. 
I guess they actually thought about the actual placement of that character, too, because it's on the mountain. What'd you get over here? <laughs> Fine. I like that Donkey Kong's just waiting with his hands extended, like... I'll Give just... me a hug. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Oh, that worked. <laughs> David, take a single hit. Perfect. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, an Absol. Is that a Pokemon you're familiar with? Yes. Because I'm not. <laughs> it's beyond the second generation. Burn it. Yes. Okay, then. The clap will prevail. Yeah, I think it's... Generally, I'd say it's better to start with a point disadvantage than a type disadvantage, but it's up to you. If they want to be stupid and walk into your uh, clap nonetheless, that's that's on them. Like that. Yeah, I guess maybe the, the point advantage you had made them a dumb AI. <laughs> I guess that because yeah, that's the only thing I could think of because I do absolutely think your point uh, difference contributes to their AI difficulty because mm. sometimes they are just so stupid when you have an advantage over them, even if they're relatively high on points. Floor is frozen timed stamina battle. Hmm. So. I'm guessing by ice floor they mean it'll freeze you and not just make you slip. I'm assuming so. Ready, go. I was thinking, like, would the condor just be an enemy from ice climbers? Then why is the ice climbers helping them? But I think it might actually be not an enemy. Hmm. I feel like maybe it dropped like a bonus or something. I don't remember. Well, you gonna join them, Ridley? It's like, no, I will have my minions do all the work. Minions are dead, bro. Okay, he's actually just hiding on the floor. Dread, did it say as a effect they actively avoid combat? Because that's a possibility. Because that seems to be what he's doing, so it probably said it somewhere. Oh, you have a time limit. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't like this. Okay, that's probably why. That's... That's just cheap. Okay, you might want to check if you actually have ice immunity. Yeah. Like, I didn't think I needed it, but if he's going to play so cheaply... Hmm. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> All right, you little chicken. <laughs> you got no place to run now. It's like, ouch. <laughs> Do you have to kill them all, or can you just... Yeah, I guess you can just go after Ridley. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, it just... It really got me the way his eyes bugged out. Yeah. So, is there a path upwards? Oh, yeah, there is. What is this? Oh, oh. that works. Kaboom. Ah. Oh. I don't know if I don't know if we've talked about any of the Star Fox games yet, but um, 
I know I've played uh, Star Fox 64. I borrowed it from someone, but I don't actually own it. And then I've I own Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault. And then I don't think I've played anything beyond that. Hmm. And I think you've probably at least played Assault for sure. Yeah, I've played. I also played Adventure. That's the one where you first meet Crystal, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. And you play the game with like a metal magic staff. Yeah. <laughs> which was kind of weird because I played that after I did Assault. Hmm. Where you get all the guns. <laughs> I I want to say <laughs> my, the joke I always make is that uh, Star Fox Adventures was like <laughs> it was like the I want to say the strongest attempt of any piece of media to try and make me a furry because of Crystal, the outfit they gave her, but it failed. Uh, I don't think it failed for a lot of other people, though. Yeah. It's like, jeez. The, uh, oh, that's why I threw... Oh. Oh, that didn't hurt me. Weird. Um... Also, because you're... The, the spirit you're fighting is, like, a Metal Gear or something like that. I... I've watched, I think, Jacksepticeye play the first Metal Gear Solid game. I think I've played a bit of the first actual Metal Gear game, but I got stuck somewhere. I don't remember what platform I played it on. Hmm. Um, Gosh dang it. And then I've played Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, and I don't think I finished Peace Walker. I think those three particular games were part of a collection that was on Xbox 360, I think. But that's basically all the Metal Gear Solid games I've played. I don't think I've played any of them. Also, sorry, I I was kind of distracted because <sighs> that's fine. <laughs> yeah, Greninja's really fast. And apparently, that sticks even when he's metal. So I don't know. Did I did I let you play any of the Metal Gear Solid games I had? I don't remember. I don't remember playing any Metal Gear Solid game ever. Hmm. Huh. So you probably need Slippy. Presumably. Another Ice Climber enemy. Super armor moves slower. Okay. Kong versus Kong. Kong is together strong. Going back to that quote I mentioned in one of the previous episodes. Power always beats power. <laughs> I need to send you the link to that animation. <laughs> I think it was called Wind Jammers, the game that they were playing. Never heard of it. Yeah. In, until I saw them play it, I, did, I hadn't heard of it either. I was also thinking, because I mentioned already, like, twice about how someone somewhere, the commenters, said that they thought I could do an impression of Moist Critical, and I'm just, like, I've been thinking of, like, what kind of quote I would try and have him say if I was going to imitate his voice. I was thinking, I think I heard that uh, Calliope Mori, one of the Hololive English VTubers, said she actually was a fan of his, so I, I should, like, say something, like, <laughs> kind of too Cali as, like, you know, <laughs> like, I enjoy your content, too, sort of thing. I just got to think, how how would I do his voice? Well, I, I've never I, seen it, so I wouldn't know. Well, there's... Have oh, you at least seen, things. like, the meme of him where he's like, Woo! That's what I've been waiting for! I'm not sure. It doesn't sound familiar. Ow. Because I actually went and watched the, watch the video that was from, too. It was funny. What the... Because... Oh. What is this guy doing? I don't know. Um, I think he was reviewing... Some really weird kid's toy. It was like a unicorn toy that's supposed to like poo goo, basically, like slime that you could then play with. But first you feed her like the ingredients to make slime and she poos it out. It's really weird and dumb. Yeah, that sounds very much weird and dumb. And it has like a super long instructional video and that right when it got to the point where it's actually supposed to poo the slime, he's like, woo, that's the, that's the, what was it? It's like. That's what I've been waiting for, or whatever like that. Hmm. Also, that Kong was very dumb. It just... 
It just kept, like, hopping. <laughs> the fool didn't know. Hopping isn't the path to victory. It is clapping. I think maybe, <laughs> just for the content, I should go all out and just try and do all the voices I can. Um, because... There was that point in, like, one of our first videos that we ever did that I did, like, an impression of Winston from Overwatch. And I thought it actually sounded really good, but it was, like, poor quality because of the, you know, the headset mic I was using. Right. Yeah. Because oh. I remember it was because Shadow Wolf said he wasn't good with... He meant to say he wasn't good with Winston, but he accidentally said Genji. So I meant to say, who are you calling uh, Genji? But I accidentally said Winston, and so like, I, I messed it up too. <laughs> so who are you calling Winston? I I mean, who are you calling Genji? <laughs> uh, and then wait, who am I again? Am I am I even Winston? <laughs> and then something I've known for a long time is that I can kind of do like a Stitch voice that I think I did during the new Super Mario Bros. Wii playthrough at one point. Hmm. Your punch buggy. Kong strong. Kong slap. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm kind of losing it when I try saying something other than your punch buggy. <laughs> You've heard that's usually all you say when you do your stitch impression. Yeah. Come get punched. I'm trying to think of other things to say. Oh yeah, that's right, you're actually fighting them this time, not just a spirit that's represented by them or has them as a partner. <laughs> it's like, oh right, I forgot. Actual battles happen sometimes. It's kind of annoying, it's like, they're giving us a lot of the characters that, you know, we don't really care for that much. Like you've gotten Pac-Man, you've gotten Duck Hunt, Ice yeah. Climber, Lucas for you, you don't really play. It's like all these characters that are like, eh. It's like, when do, when do we get the actual good characters? When do I get Bowser? When do I get Samus? Link? Never. I want to say if you keep going east, I think Yoshi is somewhere around there. Hmm. I don't really play Yoshi either in this. At least he has a fun little, you know, the down B. You can just spam at people. Hmm. Bacoblin. You've, you've probably played enough of Breath of the Wild when you did that you know this enemy at least. Yeah, it's like the basic monsters. Yep. I heard that there's there's a... I don't know if it's on PC or not, but there's another game called Genshin Impact. It was made by a Chinese developer that kind of imitates the art style and kind of like the feel of Breath of the Wild. But it has like multiple different characters and it has apparently terrible gotcha mechanics where like you have to pay money to get a chance to get characters. Ah, wow. I'm familiar with the name Genshin Impact, but yeah, that's about it. It's like never before has King K. Rule seemed so easy to defeat. I know. It's very cathartic. Or maybe Donkey Kong is just overpowered, because, good lord, I've just been stomping with yeah. them. Hmm, Shy Guy. Apparently you're fighting all of the Mi Fighter types? Hmm. It's like, I don't remember Shy Guys having a gun or a sword. What's going on? The Shy Guys are militarizing. <laughs> They've had enough of being bullied by the protagonists of Mario games. Yes. But I mean, it would make sense if they're like some sort of organized crime gang or something like that with the masks they wear. <laughs> that is true. Okay, I didn't think I'd throw that far. It's the Shy Guy Syndicate. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, it's probably the Tanuki thing or whatever. I think that allows them to like float in one place or something. Hmm. 
Yeah, he's doing it again. Or she. Hard to tell with the mask. Here, take a rocket. You're just prolonging the inevitable, buddy. Whoa. I like that. A rocket comes crashing down and explodes right in front of Donkey Kong's face and he doesn't flinch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just a shoulder nudge. It's like, take that, you cheap Samus knockoff. I didn't even get to finish slamming my fist down. It was just... Shoulder. Yeah. Caught a whiff of my armpit and just... Dead. <laughs> You don't look like coffee. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Apparently it's Donkey Kong series. I think it's probably... I don't know. I don't know if I've... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've actually seen the character in the Donkey Kong series. It's probably from, like, country or something that I haven't played. But I know in Donkey Kong 64 there were certain kind of like mini games where you'd get, like, a animal partner... I think Donkey Kong could have, like, some sort of rhinoceros and, like, you had to kill a certain amount of enemies in a certain amount of time for enough points to win a certain minigame. Hmm. There's another, I think he had to be Lanky Kong to do, uh, I think, I think he fought the spirit form earlier. It was like a swordfish. I think it was on guard or something it said his name was. Oh, yeah. I think I remember that in the water level of, uh, Donkey Kong 64. And you could do, like, a a lunge attack or something like that. Now well, that was easy. <laughs> I swear, Donkey Kong is just punch and clap. Yeah, but this specific character I don't remember being in 64. Hmm. I wouldn't know. I don't remember much of it. The only thing I remember that stands out to me is the uh, opening rap and ooh, banana. Yeah. Here, here, here we go. There's a family here, performing for you. I thought it was so they're finally here. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I, I could be getting it wrong, it's been so long. Um, I remember getting stuck so often in Donkey Kong 64 because of how young I was when I first played it. Hmm. And I remember the biggest point that I got stuck at, other than like those arcade minigames that I mentioned an episode or two ago was there's this dragon boss you have to fight in two separate occasions the first time is Diddy Kong and I remember beating that just fine there's another point where you have to fight him as Chunky Kong and I remember I could not beat it for the longest time like I, I, I remember as a kid not being sure if I was doing something wrong because that's what I thought maybe there's some obscure thing that was making me not win, but I think maybe I just had to hit him a certain amount of times and I wasn't getting that amount of hits in before dying and having mm -hmm. to try again huh. is probably the case, so I probably just needed to get good at avoiding. Because I just remember him being a type of enemy that shoots a, bun a bunch of like shockwaves at you. I kind of remember um, one of the Spyro, the dragon games. Uh, this one was... I forget what it was called or if it even had a special name, but it was for the GameCube. It's probably the one that was voiced by Elijah Wood, who did Frodo from Lord of the Rings. Hmm. I just remember there was this ice biome, and there was, like, this undead ice king, and it took me forever to beat him. It sounds vaguely but, familiar. But, and when I finally did beat him, at some point I did it again. And it was just super easy. You probably figured something out about him. Well, I remember it specifically because I was so surprised. Um, do you want to end the episode, though, after you're done with your thing? Sure. Okay, so what were you yeah. saying? Uh, I just remember... I remember it you were specifically surprised. because I was surprised at the difference, even though I didn't really do anything different, in my opinion. Yeah, you probably figured something out about him, like oh, I have to do this to avoid him, or oh, this is his weakness, probably. Maybe you didn't think about it, though? Maybe? I don't know. Me neither. But anyways, I think we'll end the episode here. Yep. And we'll see you guys next time. So, goodbye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye.